Guys. What actually just happened? What what just happened tonight? Did we hit some kind of uh of a time vortex and it just happened to land on my CPU and my CPU just was eating itself. And every time I hit restart, nothing would happen. <laughs> like, what just happened? Mike McNulty. How does everything look now? I want the quick lowdown. How's our lag? I put on a beanie because... Um, I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm going to appear as a stoner, I might as well play the part. Am I right? Also, I just like looked at my hair and I was like, let's just throw a beanie on. <laughs> uh, how's the lag, guys? Give me, the, give me the quick lowdown. It has to be a little better, right? It looks better on my end. My resolution is obviously a little less, but it looks... So nice, you don't look stoned. Great! So so that's taken care of. <laughs> but how's our... It looks normal. I, I'm completely convinced, my dear friends, that there was some sort of a wormhole and my laptop was sitting in it. And it was just spinning... In its own in its own CPU usage, because I'm looking at the CPU usage now, and it's at a nice, healthy twenty percent, even a sixteen percent. And before, it was up to ninety percent. Why was it at ninety? I don't know. But you guys are my friends. It's still early in the night. We can still get a good stream in. Maybe not not as long a stream as I would have thought, but. Uh, I think we can still get a great stream in. So how about we do this intro right? Welcome to Jeff Plays Final Fantasy VII. I am, of course, Jeff. And this that you're about to watch is FF7. Eric's in the chat. Mike's in the chat. Guys, thank you for sticking around. We had a little bit of stream issues earlier uh, for some reason, my computer just decided to not work. It just said, hey, you know what? I'm tired. You're tired. But I'm going to be more tired. And I'm just I'm deciding not to work. But um, I gave my computer a big hug. I caressed it. I said, there you are, Mr. Computer. Life's not so bad. And I think... I think we're back to normal. Shy, welcome, dude. Oh, you're gonna lurk? Okay, brother. Well, it's good to see you. You know, I always love seeing you in the in the chat, brother. Uh, dude, shy. We had some stream issues today. Let me tell you. But I think we're good. So, let's do a quick recap, real quick, before we hop back in here. Uh, we were on a boat crossing the sea to go to Costa del Sol, where we heard Sephiroth may or may not have been. While we were on the boat, we saw a Sephiroth. There he was, just hanging out. And he was like, by the way, here's a boss battle. And we were like, okay. We beat the boss. We landed in Costa del Sol. Many people were, wear were wearing Speedos. It was kind of amazing how many people were wearing Speedos at Costa del Sol. And all these rumors were, Sephiroth is around. There's a guy in a black cape around. Maybe he's at Gold Saucer. Gold Saucer is an amusement park. So we went to Gold Saucer. And then we clicked save. And then we said, that's all for tonight. And that's where we last left our heroes. So... Also, computer. Thank you, computer. Keep living, computer. We love you. Let's hop into the game. 
Guys, let's just keep our fingers crossed for tonight. Um, oh my goodness, I don't even see the game on the screen. Oh no, we have our first, <laughs> we have our first misstep. Let's see if we can quickly fix it. Oh man, it's always something, isn't it, guys? Why is it always something? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not giving up. We are not giving up. Okay. Okay. How's that? No, that's not it. What a night to stream. Am I right? Jeez Louise. Okay, we're popping in here. Bo oh, now I see the Squaresoft logo. That's a good sign. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now that. Now that. Ooh. That is what I'm talking about. Oh. Guys, thank you for your patience. You know, we always tell ourselves we get a little better each stream. That is our mantra here at Jeff Plays. And technically, we're better than we were 15 minutes ago. So I say we're, we're on the way. We're doing it, guys. <laughs> here we go. Hopping in. I'm so happy. I thought we weren't going to get to play tonight. I was like a little scared. We weren't going to get to jam tonight, guys. But welcome to Gold Saucer. All of us. Mic sound. How's the mic sound on my end? Everything sounds good? You guys are my eyes and my ears. You guys are my number one team on the ground making sure that we're, we're looking and sounding good. Things just got spooky. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Ghost Hotel. Bleh. Or is that... Bleh. Did he just puke on us? For reservations, please step up to the counter. Alright, I think I will. Look at this guy. What? Has they just... Has they just hang someone? It's our most popular employee, Mr. Hangman. Oh, okay. Oh, it's okay then. Mike sounds hot. Dude. That's why you guys are here. We'll turn that down a little bit. How's that sound now? Mike McNulty. I have to have to go soon because you got D&D. &D. I'm going to miss all the gaming. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm so bummed that I missed my first... My, literally my first hour. Oh, it makes me a little sad. But, you know I'm always happy to see you. And I love that you're playing D&D. That's &D. one of the greatest games in the entire world. We will not be staying the night for 5GP. We're just going to run around here in this... In this spooky house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess so, Eric. <laughs> okay, you can't even go in unless you... Mr. Hangman. Look at how friendly these ghosts are. There's nothing to be afraid of. My poor computer. It almost died tonight. What do we got here? What's this? Hello. No, I shan't. <laughs> Let's see here. So the only way you can do anything 
is if you have the GP. Oh, dude. Awesome shot. Wheaties, what happened? See you, Mike. Have a kick-ass time. Shinra soldiers even here. Attention dismissed. Let's see what's going on. Well, I guess we gotta go to Chocobo Racing, then. I'm not thinking shant is a word. Oh, I'm Chocobo Racing. Would you like to buy some Chocobo tickets? Explain it to me. So Chocobo Race is run on a virtual course. The natural scenery you've seen in the race doesn't really exist. You pick which Chocobo will finish first and second here. Then you buy the appropriate tickets. If the ticket you purchased is a winner, you'll receive a ticket for an item that will be listed on the panel. Oh! You can exchange your tickets for items or GP at the exchange counter to the right of the entrance. Excellent! So this is where we, we get some GP. Yes, I would. Yeah! Which rank would you like? I guess we'll do B. Here we go. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm betting what rank he will come in. Is that what this is? Eric's gonna go play Kirby, dude. I don't blame you. We are we've had a weird stream tonight. We are stuck in Gold Saucer. I don't even blame you, brother. Go play that Kirby. I'll be here. <laughs> okay. That looks good to me. Hmm. checking something real quick <clears throat> all right let's figure this out once and for all this music is pretty good now Eric says been sailing the seas with a guy from New Zealand. Dude, nice. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Ah. Fantastic. Look at that. All good, Eric, dude. You got to do your thing, man. All right. Let's let's place our bets. Place your bets. Okay, okay. If I remember correctly, it has something to do with, uh... Whoa. Joel looks fast. You wanna just try that? 
Let's see what happens. A little chocobo racing. Whoa! Whoa! Well, we are not doing well. How's Joel doing? Alright, we're sneaking up. This is this is a very confusing game. I think it just goes on autopilot. And you literally just bet. Did we get anything? We lost. easy, right? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Rank is the chocobo's strength. A is the highest, C is the lowest. You can buy angry rank tickets if you become a freelance chocobo jockey. Of course, the higher the rank, the better your ticket. Hey, maybe I'll become a chocobo jockey. How do you become one? Become one if you own a chocobo and have some connections. But chocobos are pretty hard to catch, and I don't have any connections. Does this mean Cloud can ride chocobos? I am curious. Not interested. Get out of here. Welcome to Chocobo Racing. Okay. Oh my goodness, all right. You can only buy up to three tickets. Think before you buy. For example, you should select half of the chocobos and buy three boxes. Boxes. Boxes buy in combination of two chocobos. For example, if you select chocobo one, three, and five, you can purchase combinations such as one, three, one, five, three, five. Interesting. You can also play a limited wheel by selecting a chocobo. Limited wheel. Playing a limited wheel means you select a chocobo and use it in all of your combinations. For example, if you chug about one, then you buy one, two, one, three, one, four. Okay. K Fresh, dude. Kevin, have you ever had a stream that just, like, just looked like you were using Windows Millennium Edition? And then you had to fix it on the fly? Has that ever happened to you? Because I was super embarrassed, but <laughs> I think we're okay now. Looks like there's no lag. There's no lag up here. There's no lag in the game. What a pain. But it's good to see you. And yes, I love Chocobo Racing, too. So we're going to race some Chocobos. Uh, we will be doing the... Let's do the C, but... Okay. Let's take, take a look here. Okay. So this one should be a good one. Because he's got high stamina, high top speed. Bro, my first PC would crash all the time during my stream. Dude. So you have experienced just, <laughs> just your computer just doesn't work. It just says, hey, tonight... Tonight, I'm taking the night off. I don't want to stream. Sometimes computers do that. Ugh. Oh, what a pain. What a colossal pain. Let's see. This is another... This looks like he's another good good guy here because he's got high stamina. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw him on at... 2-3? Is that right? Okay. And this guy's got the highest KM. Let's try that. Oops. Nope. I want that. Oop, I want that. I want that. That's what we're going to try. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. 
My first PC crashed all the time, and then this my second PC's power supply exploded. Oh my god, Kevin, you've seen the worst! But you made it through, right? If you can do it, I can do it. I believe. Kevin, how good is this part? You literally, you don't play. You literally just place bets on Chocobos. <laughs> that's the, that's literally the entire game. So if you like gam gambling, if you like gambling, this is for you. Third PC crashed and I lost all the files and didn't back up. Oh, Kevin, we've all been there. We have all been there. Oh my god, I didn't think... I didn't think Chocobo 6 would be this good. He's schooling the other ones. Oh wait, he's slowing down. <gasps> Who's gonna win? Kevin. Kevin, I'm with you. I'm all in on this part. Oh my god, Purple takes the lead. Purple wins it all. I think we did bet on number four. Oh no. <laughs> did we lose again? Wait a second, I thought... I thought we did it the right way. I was so excited. We're obviously going again. Yes. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Explain to me. Okay. Finish first and second here, and then buy the appropriate tickets. And the ticket you purchase is a winner. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got all this. Sure. It's fine. Which rank would I like? We're going to do rank C. Okay. So here we are. So my question is, am I saying that first place will be won by number five? Is that how it works? I think you're right, Eric. And okay, I think I, I think I understand it now. And now we're saying second place will get. This is the. This is just. Who designed this? This is awful. So we're saying second place will get number four will get second place? I think I understand now. Now we're betting on third place. Uh, which we will say I think this guy looks pretty strong. This guy looks pretty strong. We're going to say the third place will be Wait a second. That's not it at all. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Could they have made this more confusing? Kevin, lay it out. That's why we're here. We're playing this together. This is this is a group this is a group play. Even though it's called Jeff Plays. Oh, you think I was right? Then what does this one mean? This means that I think number five will get sixth place? Is that what it means? It has to be, right? It has to be. 
So this means I think first place will be number five. Second place will be number four. <laughs> ah, let's just do it. I know, Kevin, I'm, I'm confused too. Why, why is this so confusing? At least the music's good. The computer may fall apart. Our chocobo may lose. But the music is good. Is that the Ethereum token? Just uh, spinning there? Buy low, sell high? We bet on purple? Those are the odds. Eric, is that what it is? I am confused. I'm not sure. Very interesting. Jeff, have you had the new springtime gummies from TJ's? They're spring alicious. Kevin, I was in TJ's just the other day, and I didn't even see them. Kevin, I also have to tell you, I resigned from Trader Joe's. I did. On good terms, though. Other work has been picking up, so I'm happy to say I was able to leave just because uh, because I was ready. Oh my god, did we bet on that? We bet on Joel. We won! <laughs> Take our money and run. That's what I say. Let's get the hell out of here. I want GP. Give me GP. Well, now we got 10 GP. We won a Chocobo race. We're feeling good. I say we take a look around. What's this? <gasps> Is this a theater? Are we doing Shakespeare? Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Does anyone know what that's from? Am I the only one? Any other Shakespeare nerds here? I resigned. I did, Eric, I resigned, but it was because other work had picked up. What's your problem? Can't you see we want to be alone? Whoa. All right. This is a great theater. Jeez, what a jerk. Why don't you leave us alone? Oh my god. Look, I just wanted to talk. That's all I wanted to do. We put on a really unusual show here, but not today. So come back again sometime and see it. Oh, all right. Okay. I love happy resignations. Happy for you. Thank you, dude. I agree. A happy resignation is like a positive change. Getting fired is no fun. And I didn't get fired. <laughs> Sorry, but there's no show now. Let's get out of here, then. You sound like Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> That was supposed to be Ian McKellen. You know? Getting off the grey. From the Lord of the Rings. And he does shake spear. 
in case you didn't know. That's like my only impression that I can do really well. So I find that I do it quite a bit. <laughs> Let's see what's going on over here. But most of the attractions only take GP. We know this. We know this. Come on, my guy. We know this. Let's go. What's over here? What are you guys talking about? Not much. Have Wonder Square and have some fun. All right. I'm, well, I, maybe I maybe I will then. Maybe I will. Let's go back to that haunted house. We have some GP. I think we can spend the night in the haunted house. Say hi to Mr. Hangman. Where is he? Mr. Hangman. There he is. Would you like to stay? Yeah. We'll stay. We'll stay. Oh, that was it? We can't even explore it? Oh, I thought we would get to, like, explore it. Oh, Mr. Hangman's back. Cures Frog. Oh, we have some of those. We're good. Hyper. Yeah, we'll take some of those. Say, can you play chess? They have all the other mini games, but they don't got chess. Oh, let's try the battle arena. That's what I'm thinking we should do. We know what this is. This looks like the worth. The, the worth. This looks like the work of Sephiroth. Dead. What? Why? Cheerio, where are you going? Shit just got real. Well. Sephiroth do this? No, it's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Uh, uh. Hey, what happened? A man with a gun on his arm. It can't be. Hold right there and stay quiet. Dio just walks in in his signature speedo. Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. Must have been wrong. Hurry and run, it's gonna get ugly. Hey, stop them! It's as far as you go. Wait, listen to Cheerio. I think we got a boss. I think we got three bosses. One more to go. Oh, oh. We're, we're just straight up captured. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Do it. They just threw us out. You all right? Where are we? A desert prison. Coral prison. A desert prison. Yep, a natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. But there was one special exception. 
Hey, Captain Crunch! Captain Crunch, did you... Stay back, there's something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Ooh, this one of your friends is sure looks dangerous. Sure, you're what should we do? Captain Crunch is not his normal self. Captain Crunch is running around just, you know, throwing spoons at people. I'm trying to go with the cereal theme. Oh-ho, welcome to Coral Prison. Oh, he's nice. He's a nice guard. Kevin, I completely forgot till right now. This is like... Like this game, like, kind of like... I'm remem remembering as I play it, some things, and then other things I've just completely forgotten. Let's just kill these strange looking face discs here. That are incredibly dangerous. Well, we're going to be using- Dice is going to be using Lucky Charms for the first time. Okay, we got a seven. That's 800 damage. That's that's 800 damage. Guys, That that's 800 damage. I didn't realize Lucky Charms was that good. Oh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, oh, no one's got Cure on right now. Where's all, our Where's all our materia? What's going on around here? Shoot. I took all our materia. Let's go in here. I see we have the I am Sparta. Oh, excuse me. Not I am Sparta. <laughs> My brain is just not on today. I think I'm just like a little, uh, I'm still reeling from the fact that I spent an hour just trying to get the stream working today. Ay, 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 ay. Yo, give me that bronze bangle back. What's going on here? There we go. There we go. Ooh. Take that. Yeah, this is 100% the... This is Sparta hull. Right here in the prison. What's in this house? Not a roof. Some thievery going on around here. Speaking of, we still haven't gotten Yuffie. Which we definitely need to get. Magic, Bolt 2, bye bye. Oh, it didn't kill him actually. There we go. Hello, sir. Ha ha ha. <laughs> what a friendly guy. Oh, he's just chasing me now? Get off of me! Kevin, I think it, it is one of the reasons that I was scared to stream for a long time. I was like, this is just 
so much going on, and if anything goes wrong live, can I fix it on the fly? And I was just like, ah, I won't even bother with it. Won't even, won't even touch it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, you gotta live in the crazy, right? You gotta live in that scary zone. And that scary zone is live streaming with an old computer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just gotta do it. Let's do a little save here. Yes, I'd like to save. There we go. Tell you one thing, Rookie, the desert is extremely dangerous. It'll welcome you in, but when you try to leave, it'll swallow you. Ooh. I hear some of them never make it out. The best thing is to stay out of the desert entirely. Well, we're obviously going in. These guys only tell lies, only lies. Not one of them will tell you the, tell you the truth. Just talk to them a couple times and you'll get sick of them. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. Man with a gun in his arm? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> you want to see the boss? Go southwest and you'll meet him. You'll meet him. You'll meet him. Once out of the desert, stay still and don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. There's no way I've ever seen a mysterious chug boat carriage. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> Some prison we got here, huh? got mini. Okay. Tent was stolen. Let's see if this kills him. Might be enough. Yep. Oh, did he kill Cloud? Ooh. That was scary. Did he just take my tent? Yo. This is an intense part. You could lose your shit. So have they ever heard of it? <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten our question answered. these guys. Can we just run? Can we try that? Does that mean I'm... Does that mean I'm a... not a true warrior? I'm not a soldier first class? Want to enter the chokeboat race? Yeah, I want to enter. Then go get permission of the boss of this place. Interesting. Who's the boss? You don't even know that? Oh, man. Uh-oh. I'm guessing it's in here. Eric speed of Kirby level. Excellent, dude. Well, the first thing we're doing is we're killing Mr. Thief Man here. We're going to just roast him. And we're going to electro electrocute him afterwards. Oh, that did it. Oh. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Uh, carry on then. Wheaties is awesome. Do you feel like this stream should be sponsored by General Mills and Post and all the other cereal companies? I feel like we're giving them a lot of free advertising here by naming every character after a cereal, you know? This guy's still following us. What? What is, what is this? Are you going to come in here too? You knew? Then go and pay your respects to Mr. Coates. guys. Well, 
Can we hit them both with this? Cannot. All right, we're just gonna bolt to that. Leather glove, he's taking all my stuff! Let's manipulate this guy. Let's see, oh, we got him. What does that mean when they're manipulated? Does anyone know? Kevin, do you remember? Got our leather glove back. <laughs> Sponge by Captain Crunch himself. There's our tent. You can hit the wildies and... Oh, okay. I'm not sure what you mean, Eric. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Never seen your face around here before. Going up. Don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the gold saucer's garbage dump, and that makes all of you scrubs. Ooh. The only way to get back up there is to win the chocobo race. It's not as easy as your rookies think. Of course, if you got the boss's permission, it'd be a different story, but you'll never get that. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna have to win a chocobo race? Guys, we could barely, barely figure out how to bet on one. How are we going to win one? Oh, we lost our buddy. Let's see what's in here. It's a nasty couch. Did I tell you not to come here? Just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if, if you just hear us out. Captain Crunch has lost it. Oh! I take it back. I just saw someone I didn't see. Didn't want none of you to get involved. <gasps> Life! Frosted Flakes! Hey, that's Cheerios line. It's too dangerous. I can't get involved. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're already involved. We saw you in a hurry here. So come on, Captain Crunch. Just tell us what's going on. You guys... I heard that the murders at the Battle Arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? That's my Frosted Flakes voice. There's another another man that got a gun grafted in one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember. I was on my way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. Captain Crunch, dine. Come quick, the village is being attacked. It's Shinra's soldiers. What? Oh. What the hell happened? Hey, Captain Crunch, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's get back to the village. Jeff, if you weren't aware, there's a brand new 3D Kirby game out. I think Eric likes it. Dude, I heard it was out. I've only watched a trailer for it. But that's all I know. Oh, oh, oh! That's pretty impressive, actually. Get out of there! Captain Crunch, you stay here. Scarlet! Yeah! <laughs> you can shoot all day and never hit him with a name like that. Stop playing around. And cover me. Watch out. Whoa! Hang on. Listen to me, you're coming back to the village here. Yeah, I ain't letting go. You're coming back, everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor, Marine, Mar Marlene, they're all waiting on us. Oh, so that's how he lost his hand. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra, who took away everything. 
Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me, but it was his left arm. It's got to be the other guy. But Dinah's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra, too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. When Bettlenet got to apologize to Dinah before it can rest in peace. And that's why I got to go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. We need your help to save the planet. That's right. Cloud's a freedom fighter now. Captain Crunch, this isn't the end. <laughs> These names are so ridiculous. Weren't you going to save the planet? Beep! Life. You ought to know by now. It's alright, I'm not so different from you. Kevin, you're out of here? Oh, brother. Thank you for stopping by, dude. It means so much. I'll see you next time. It's easier to understand. It's you, Captain Crunch. So there it is. I guess it'll be me, Captain Crunch, and... Oh, we gotta choose a party. I mean, we gotta take the A-team. Sorry, Wheaties. I know you wanted to hang out a little more, but... We need the A-team. I wonder if Dinah will join us. We have all our good materia. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Even Chocobo lore, which is still on. Good thing. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. There's a bar down here? In the prison? Rookie, then you gotta buy something. Yep, that's the rule here. Uh, I don't really need anything you got. Let's just search around, see if we got anything going on. Eric wants to know, am I married? Do I have a wife? Do I have any kids? I do not. My focus has been career. And there you go. Which, as I've told you, is all this acting stuff, is this, uh, is this voiceover stuff. And that's how you gotta do it, you know? Sometimes you gotta push back some of those other things so that you can get the, the goal that you want in front of you, you know? Bada bing, bada boom. Let's shock them. Got him. Oh, can we go out here? Is that a fence? Oh, no. Let's see. Who's the boss around here? Is he over here? Hmm. We gotta find the boss. Let's steal from the thieves. So Eric, you're saying that someone is messaging you on Facebook and asks personal questions. Am I reading this correctly? And do you know this person? Peacemaker. 
What's that? That sounds like a new weapon. Oh, Eric, I gotta tell you, my friend. Uh, you don't know that person. You gotta be careful with that. Because that could just be someone trying to scam you. You know what I mean? So just be careful. Uh, let's see what the Peacemaker is. Let's see here. Peacemaker. Ooh, okay. Peacemaker is a Vincent gun. I see what's going on. I see. So we need to find the boss. Okay, so you're not answering. I see. Yeah, I gotta say that's a little strange. I, I would I would have to tell you that is definitely a little strange. Which is why I deleted my Facebook years ago. But then I made an Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. Did I really delete it? <laughs> After all, I deleted the main Facebook thing. I was like, I'm done with this. Let's see. So where's the... I'm guessing the boss is down in the Sparta, Sparta hole. Let's go check it out. Let's see what we got. He's not down here. Interesting. Okay. Back up we go. Team is strong. So we're looking for the boss. Okay. It's over here. Oh. Whoa! Ah! It's that thing from Dune! Oh, do we need to get the hell out of here? Did he just dab? Weak against cold, eh? Well, we got ice too. Let's let's keep fighting him for a hot second here before we run away. Ooh, there we go. We got him. Let's just do a little heal real quick. Oh my god, this is just a desert. I don't think I'm ready to explore a vast open desert yet. I don't want to get lost out there. What do we got here? What's this? Dinah, is that you? No. 
Now that's a voice I haven't heard in a long time. A long time. Voice I'll never forget. I always hope to be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen, Dine, I want to... I can hear her voice. What's that? It's Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. I know it was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what you're doing, what are you doing in a place like this? Why do you want to kill people who ain't even involved? Why? Why the hell do you care? You think the dead understand why? Is hearing Shinra's excuses going to make people in Coral understand anything? I don't care about reasons. All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. Ooh, this is getting emo. Still want to hear why? All right, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. Some Joker shit. The people in this city. This city itself. The whole world. Got nothing left in this world. Coral, and Eleanor, Marlene. Dinah Marlene. Marlene's still alive. This is intense. Went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. Jeff, tell me, why you grow facial hair so fast? I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't grow facial hair fast. It actually takes me quite a while to grow a beard. I wandered around town for a while. That's when I found her, found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, all right? So she's still alive. All right, Captain Crunch, then I guess you gotta, you and me gotta fight. Ooh, what? Eleanor's all by herself. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dinah, are you crazy? Oh my god. Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Yo, this guy is, is, he's lost it. Here we go. It's Captain Crunch solo. with fire it's pretty good that's our best damage I think we're gonna use that I think we got him. No? Shoot, maybe we got to heal. Oh. Zach Sherry. Dude, how are you, man? You just missed Barrett's backstory. Back!
I didn't just lose an arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Dinah, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you, I, I, I want to destroy everything. Everything, this crazy world, even me. What about Bar Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Captain Crunch. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. What's more, Captain Crunch? <laughs> My hands are too stained to carry her anymore. Zerk. <laughs> Don't think I didn't see right through that. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's. My wife's a memento. All right, so Marlene's already four. Heavy backstory today. Captain Crunch, don't you, don't you ever make her cry. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Final Fantasy VII is so heavy! Man. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss's permission. Then when the chocobo... Donnie's got his reasons he can't speak. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. So I got this instead. Yeah, bull. I wanna go up. R right Did you kill Dinah? You must have. You'd never be holding that thing. So Dinah's dead, maybe now. The place will calm down a little. I didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? Right, I mean, no, I don't know anything. I don't, I'm sorry. Then you will get us out of here? Huh? Oh, man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you there's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the Chocobo race. That's held up there in the gold saucer. And only one racer can go at a time. I wonder if it'll be Cloud. Say what? No, really, even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule. I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. Okay, okay. Let one go up there. After that, he's got to deal with Dio. All right, then. Cheerio, you go. I'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. <laughs> got through the first Octopath ending with Cleric, trying to finish them all so I can get Triangle Strategy. Dude. Yes, Octo is awesome, and I remember really liking the Cleric's story. The only stories that I wasn't too too keen on were, um, I thought the Thief's was a little bland. Just like a little bland. And I remember, I think I thought that... I think the Huntress was also a little bland, but... There's there's eight characters, so you know I can cut him some some slack. Angelo, dude, <laughs> Angelo, we're, somehow we're up and running. Somehow we're up and running, dude. Oh my god, my first stream. Actually, my first stream, you can see it if you click into my my live streams. There's a, a stream that's named exactly this one. Take a look sometime. Take a look at just how laggy it was when I clicked start this evening something was going on with my computer it truly was like breaking on me i was watching it die and then with sweet words and some some gentle caresses my computer was okay i really didn't do much i really didn't i, I think i restarted i think i i changed you can change the cpu usage to medium and i did that 
And I think that's all I changed. But man, my poor computer. Oof. Right, Cherry, I'll be waiting and rooting for you. Man, it was bananas, dude. Absolutely bananas. I, I literally, can I show you, can I show you where we were at? Look at this. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. I was literally looking at new computers. Can you see that? I was literally looking at new computers because I was like, the stream's over. The stream's over. We're going to have to order a new computer. But we, but somehow we fixed it. Oh, dude, you're at the gym? All right, brother. Wait, you're at the gym after a double? What are you... What? <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? The thief battle quotes are fun, but the story's a bit samesy. Yep. I'm biased and that I love the Huntress. Something about that pseudo-Shakespearean dialect. Was it her? Maybe I did like Huntress. No. I th did I like Huntress? There was one other bland character, and it's maybe it's escaping me. I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... Yeah, I'm thinking so, Angelo. Dude, it's time to start streaming Smash Brothers. Oh, yes. It's time. This is Esther. She may look kind of funny. But there's no better manager in the races. That's so rude. <laughs> He's a little rude. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nice to meet you, Cheerio. All right, then, Cheerio. I'll send you up the elevator. Esther will fi fill you in on the details. Fantastic. We're ready to go. Wait a second. Oh, dude, I'm here. I'm insane. I had so much toffee at that job. So you had so much coffee that you spelled it toffee, I see. Uh... So you're still at that thing? So that's what happened. Talk to Dio directly. You'll concentrate on the race. Getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Nice. Some people compete for the fame. Some people compete for the money. Some for the glory. And then there's people like you. I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. This is some sea biscuit shit. All right, let's do it. First, use assist to choose either auto or manual. This lets you control the chocobo yourself, or lets it run on its own. It's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. Then you're stuck. But most of the chocobos are mellow. mellow. You should be able to handle them. Nice. When you're riding, use switch to speed up, cancel to slow down. Okay. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose all its stamina. Use the directional button to move the chocobo left and right. Use OK to get a boost of speed. This makes your stamina run faster. Hmm. Some chocobos are bad-tempered and can't pace themselves or lose their stamina quickly. Those chocobos should be set on manual to slow them down. Okay, I see. So you're switching between manual and auto, basically, to save stamina. Once the first and the second chocobo cross the goal line, push start to end, end the race. Nice! Nice. Easy peasy. You new? Yes, I am new. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you. Cheerio. This is Joe. Joe. One of the top chocobo jockeys. <laughs> nice to meet you, Cheerio. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. Yeah, it's actually my first race. Ever. He'd uh, only been down there a day, and already he made it up here. Oh, I see. So why'd you get put down? Sorry, I'm not supposed to talk about the past here. Nice. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Yell on the racetrack. Till we meet again, Cheerio. Pocket Theory uh, has a cool class, but that's about it. Found his story so far to be boring. Dialogue... Written have a southern draw, but the actor is a professional general American accent. <laughs> yeah, dude, I noticed that too. Although I like that class in that game. I thought it was really fun, actually. Like, uh, I just was a fan of, like, 
throwing the potions and using the axe on people. I thought that was cool. Going to check on Chocobo. You just wait here for a while. Okay. I can do that. I got nothing to say. Lively bunch. Race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the paddock? I'm nervous. Not gonna lie. I'm nervous. Here we go. I want to win, guys. I don't want second place. I don't want third place. I want first place. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Thanks for waiting. I registered for the next race. Oh, boy. So, Chuck, I prepare myself. He should do well. So, remember how to ride? Let's go over it one more time. Okay, so it's assist to choose auto and manual. Got it. Pretty hard to make Chocobo run the way you want. Blah, 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 blah. Chocobo for Smash 4, please. Oh, for Smash 6. <laughs> when you're riding, press switch to speed up. Okay, and cancel slow down. Got that. That's easy. If you go faster, then the Chocobo can handle it. It'll lose its stamina. Got it. Use the directional buttons to move the Chocobo. Got it, got it, got it. Use a K to get a boost of speed. I'm a little nervous. All right, here we go, guys. We're on auto. Ooh, go Cloud! We're actually doing pretty good. Spinning monkeys for Smash 6. Spinning monkeys for my wedding song, please. Oh, shoot. Did we go too fast? Did we burn out? I think we're doing okay. We'll go manual. Can we? We'll go manual. We're on manual now. This is me driving, boys. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, that guy's way up ahead. Oh, I really want to win, though. I really want to win. All right, we're boosting. We're boosting. We're flying now. Oh, we are flying now. We're back. And now we're on auto again. Oh, no. I killed the Chocobo. I'm in last place. What have I done? It seems our first Chocobo race... was not our best. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, we got to go again. We're going to get it this time. Remember how to ride. Here we go. Dude, Zach, I actually love Blitzball. Blitzball is super fun. Just give him a little boost. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're going to catch this guy.
There we go. There we go. Is that the end? Let's just boost it right to. Oh, that wasn't the end. <laughs> Is this Rainbow Road? Alright, that's the end. Oh, shoot. Come on, Cloud. We did it! Woo! Guys. Considering I did not know the controls at all, I'm pretty gosh darn happy. Oh yeah, the owner told me to give this letter to you if you won. Okay. Thank you. Well, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. I know you've earned it. I heard about Dinah from Esther. Now that you've won, I'm granting you and your friends a full pardon, setting you all free. By way of apology, I have a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift. The assistant manager just spot and he dropped off a buggy. Now we can go over deserts and rivers, no problem. Yo, he just gave us a car. Letter continues. P.S. I recently met Sephiroth. I'll bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Um, no, he's pretty, he's a pretty bad guy. <laughs> Why don't you go get his autograph? He was heading toward, is it Gon, Gon, Gon Gaga? Like Lady Gaga? Gon Gaga? <laughs> south of the river. Okay, so we're looking to go south of the river. River. I guess this is goodbye. Well, if you ever get on your own chocobo, come back again. Take care of registration and everything. See you again. Great. How to drive the buggy. Press OK. To get on, press cancel to get off. You can cross shallow rivers and deserts. You can even enter Costa del Sol and Junon by the buggy. Nice! Guys, we did so good. Look at us. We got a new car. First of all, let's save. I was getting strong. Oh, wait, they said south. They said south. Would that have killed me? Are there any furries in FF7? Does Kate Sith count as a furry? Discuss in the chat. I'll bring Kate Sith out. Kate Sith out. And you can tell me, Zach.
these guys aren't that scary. All right, here we go. You tell me, Zach. Is this character right here a furry? Frosted Flakes, is that a furry? I don't know. There's two animal characters. I'm just saying. Just saying. Oops, got out of our car there. So let's say go by the river. There's the river. Let's see what's down here. So what do you think, Zach? What do you think of these characters? Give me a full review. <laughs> Yo, Chris! Or should I say Sean? Dude! Oh, you're not late at all. Welcome. Oh, I'm happy you could make it. How's your file of FF7 going? Oh, there's a little house here. Here we'll come back later. Okay, Zach. I gotta say though, with Kate Sith, see how there's that little cat with the crown. That one's kind of humanoid, right? Although with Kate Sith, Kate Sith is a fortune telling machine, so it's like a robot. That's all we know so far. Don't worry, there's a backstory to everyone, obviously, in this game. But that is a fortune-telling machine. Lucky Charm looks like a wiggly top. <laughs> it does. It totally does. <laughs> no apps. Oh my god. Yo, your cloud is 21? Your cloud may be stronger than mine. Let's get our let's get our A team back real quick, which unfortunately does not include Wheaties. Sorry, Wheaties, we love you. The dragon looks like he's from Dragon Tales. <laughs> Zach, how do you know what Dragon Tales is? easy. Actually, maybe we'll do our magic. What's that? What the heck is that? What is that? <laughs> Indeed, I have. Well, these guys are starting to hit hard. 
Not hard enough. You know, we still need to get a revive materia. Oops. Cloud keeps jumping out of his car as it's moving. Which is not safe. Don't try this at home. Let's see. Okay, so that's a river we can cross here. Do we, do we, do we, do we, do we attack? Do we attack? It's Yuffie. Do we attack her? Do we just blade beam her? <laughs> Jeez. This doesn't feel right. I want you to join my team. Okay, okay. I guess that was how you do it. You have to, you have to beat her. Well, let's save. Oh, it won't let me save. What? She took our money! It was a fake save point! What?! Oh, I'm mad now. Oh, I've never been so mad. I got had. Well, we're definitely naming her Trix. After Trix cereal. That much we know is true. She just took our money and she peaced out. Yeah, Angelo, what 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 is going on here? This is someone who's supposed to join our team eventually, but I guess it's kind of like a you have to like kind of do all the right things to make her join your your team, you know what I mean? And we did the wrong thing. We went straight for the save point like a sucker. You know? Yo, I really want my money back. Let's see if we get her now. Is she here? Uh oh. I don't like this. I do not like the look of this. Oh no, we're getting turned into frogs. We are... We are in frog mode. Oh no. Did watch the piano video. Oh, Chris, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. It slipped my mind. Uh, Angelo can attest. It's been a busy week at work. I work with Angelo, I should say that. Uh, I'm so sorry, dude. I let you down. I'm so sorry. Let's watch it at the end of the stream. I'll put it on and I'll put a... Well, I'll watch it together. Because I did mean to watch it. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But work was insane this week. Insane. We got the frogs. We got the frogs. I'll take an all level up. But I would rather get my gill back. Yeah, we're watching it at the end of the stream, Chris. Because I owe you. Alright, let's get these guys out of here.
Do not turn me to stone. Well, now we gotta quickly get out of here. Or we're gonna be dead. They should be low health, though. We should be able to get out of here. There we go. Whoopsies. Now we gotta get our stuff back from Yuffie. Boba for the first time here today. Ooh, wait. Do I know what that is? What, what is that? Help me out here, Chris. Or Sean. I've called you Chris for so long <laughs> that the transfer is going to be hard. Man, punch. Ooh, everyone's going to hurt. Oh, just what kind of food is uh, Boba? <gasps> Here she is! Can we just steal it back? Does that work? Alright. We gotta do this right. Sure, 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 yes. Okay. All right, now what are we not going to do, guys? We are not going to go to the safe point. So I guess we got to go right up to her. We got to go say hi. Can't believe I lost. You spiky headed jerk. One more time. Let's go one more time. Not interested. Thinking of running away? What are you scared? We'll get back over here. I'll bite your arms off. Oh, it's legs. It's been a while since I've seen that one. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess we'll talk to Yuffie. Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. Just as I thought. What do you expect of my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you feel up to it, we can go another round. Later! Wait a second. Y yeah. Yeah, I do. I do want you to to go. Did we just get her? Music's nice. <laughs> this is not Yuffie anymore. This is not Yuffie. This is Trix. As Final Fantasy Serial continues. Wait, what? 700 gil? What? What? What is going on?
Gotta get these dragon tails dragons here. Yuffie looks absolutely deranged. Yeah, it's something in that smile. It's kind of like a Mark Hamill Joker smile going on. It's like, it's like too big. The A team here is getting pretty strong. Always safe. Always safe. All right, let's get Yuffie again. I don't think she's there. I think she's in here. All oh, those frogs are back. Jesus Christ. Well, let's just summon the Chocobos to take care of them. go. Oh, love it. Yo, that Chocobo summon's pretty powerful, because it, like, stuns them. It's pretty good. I'm sold. I really would like my money back and Yuffie on my team. Do I know Bao? So is that the, uh, like a, it's almost like a dumpling? Is that right, Chris? Am I remembering it correctly? I think I have had that, if it is that. I don't need Cure. Let's just keep attacking. There we go. Frog song. Is FF7 considered sci-fi or fantasy? I think it's generally considered... Huh. <laughs> I would say I think it's more generally considered fantasy but like a steampunk fantasy world you know I think that's the general consensus because I wouldn't say oh I'm playing FF7 it's a sci-fi game you know but I do think I do think people associate FF7 with being like kind of steampunk a steampunk fantasy world like lots of gears and airships and uh, even Cloud with like his Screws coming out of his little arm thing there, you know. We are, uh, we are turned into frogs. I think I have an item that protects her from frog, which was the smartest thing I ever did. Let's throw that on. Cyberpunk. I think it could be cyberpunk. Cyber cyberpunk I always really associated with like the far future though. Like think like uh, Spider-Man, what is it? 2099, 2299, or whatever it's called. That I consider cyberpunk. And you're right, this isn't like steampunk with like where it's like 100%, you know, you know, steampunk is like an alternate universe where in the industrial age, steam things could like run 
you know, robots and stuff. So, but this kind of like is like a takes elements of steampunk though. If you look at Midgar specifically, I think there's a lot of steampunk elements. I want to get Yuffie. I'm so mad. I am so mad. Yo, there she is. Well, first thing we're going to do is cure everyone. Second thing we're going to do is burn her alive with fire two. <laughs> and then we're gonna attack. Okay, okay, we got really far last time. We know not to go to the safe point. Let's try this again. Here we go. Okay. We go up and talk. Can't believe I lost. One more time. Not interested. Thinking of running away. What? Scared, are you? Well, I'll bunch your legs off. We did that joke twice now. Come on, what's the matter? Pretty scared of me, aren't you? Mm, petrified. We'll say petrified. Just as I thought. What do you expect? All my skills. Good luck to you guys, too. If you feel up for another round, we can go. Or I'm going to leave. I mean it. Should we say go ahead? Or do we, is that where we messed up? Let's say go ahead. Go ahead. Do we mess up? What? <laughs> God damn it. Guys, why can we not get UV? Why is this so hard? <laughs> oh my God, what a pain. And I refuse to look it up. I refuse to look up it. Oh, oh, here she's back again. Okay, okay, we're gonna get her. Once again, this time we're going to freeze her. And then we're going to use fire to light her on fire. And then we'll slice her with a big sword. There we go. Okay, we're ready. We're ready this time. Chris, I'm saying the same thing. We are going to get Yuffie, though. Can't believe I lost. Okay. See, it's the same thing every time. It's like a mini game. You got to get it right, though. Spike hit a jerk. Not interested. Thinking running away. Stay and fight. <laughs> What's the matter? Pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. What do you expect with all my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. I'm gonna leave. Oh, wait a second. What is it? You still have something for me? So is that it? No, you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go right. You want me to go with you, right? Let's say you kidding. You kidding? Is this game a reflection on why I am so bad with women in the real world? Like, I, if I can't even get Yuffie to join my team, this is why I can't get a girlfriend? Is that, what, is that what's going on here?
I don't think we've seen Shiva yet. <laughs> Chris, it's exactly how I feel. I feel like we're like, we're like, we're like almost there. We're like right at the finish line and then we trip. All right, so what could we do different? What could we do different? Hmm. Think of Smash Brothers. Yes, I, you know what? I think you're right. If only I was good at Smash Brothers. That's what that's what will give me value in this world, being good at Smash Brothers. Alright, Yuffie? Oh no, the frogs. The frog armada is here. Oh no. Well first thing we're gonna do is limit well. We're just, we're just doing terrible tonight. We'll just destroy these frogs. Roasted frog legs coming right up. I <laughs> haven't found what I'm looking for, which is UV and all my stuff. The Froge coin. Zach, make Froge coin. Let's invest. We'll become Froge Frogillionaires. Super Smash Brothers. I gotta get an Elgato so we can play Super Smash Brothers on stream. I think that would be so fun. These frogs have messed me up. Man. There we go. We're getting them. Tifa, it's up to you. And Barrett, kinda. He's a frog. There we go. Okay. We're ready for Yuffie. We just gotta... We just gotta find her. Treating those frogs like Chris Rock. <laughs> oh my god. The joke of the night award goes to Mr. Zachary Sherry. <laughs> One thing about games I think has gotten much better is if you can't get by a single thing in the game, there are usually other ways around it. You're not just stuck. All right, well, hold on, Angelo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yuffie is a side mission. What I'm saying is, is that we could just go to the next area. You know? 
So I'll throw Final Fantasy VII a bone and say that one of the reasons we're kind of just here grinding this out is that I really just want my money back. But we could go on to the next area at any time. But we must earn Yuffie's trust. Oops, I attacked the wrong guy. That was not good. Like Kingdom Hearts, Mario Sunshine. Oh, they are. Oh, I just replayed Mario Sunshine, and I can tell you, it can be a nightmare at times. It is not, sometimes it's not intuitive. That's what I mean by that. It's really it, you can get you can get lost pretty easily, or not lost, not lost. But you can get stuck in the level and be like, there's the star, I see it. How come I can't get it? You know, these frogs are awful. Thank God for Tifa. What do you think of that frog? Summoning pose, like doing a Dragon Ball Z charge there, <laughs> except it's just like this little frog. <laughs> We're just like stuck here. All right, we're up. We're, we're not up. Maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss. Where's that? Where is it? Maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss. There it is. Put on cloud. Zach, you know how to do it? Zach, can you at least tell me if we're on the right track? Were we doing the right thing? And the shadow see-through walls mechanic was rough. Yeah, that was just terrible. It was not polished yet, you know what I mean? For as polished as the new games are, that one was still learning, still getting its getting its footing. Okay, let's do a little save. Zach, Zach, look, it's not cheating if you just like tell us how close we were to getting it right, right? We got to, we were able to name her. That's pretty huge. Let's just do a tent real quick. We got one. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do a tent. And we'll save on that. That sounds good. Zach, are we close? Chris is back. Welcome back, Chris. These blasted frogs. Wait, forever? Forever? 
Wait, Zach, wait, what? No, no, no. We have to be able to get her. Oh my god, Zach, you're making me want to look it up myself now. Are you saying that because I saved, I can never get Yuffie? Oh my god, no, we're going, we're going, we're looking this up together, guys. This is not cheating. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Alright, guys. It sounds like we were doing great. I wonder where we messed up. I actually think we were really close. Oh, it wasn't buffering. No, that was just me. <laughs> that was just me looking up. Cheating. Did I just cheat? I'm a cheater. Angelo, you're biking, dude. Safe travels. We'll see you in a bit, dude. Zach, I didn't make a previous save. I'm pretty sure, though... If you mess up. I'm pretty sure using the save point doesn't mean you permanently don't get Yuffie. I'm pretty sure. It is a trap, but I don't think... I just don't think it's... You would permanently not get Yuffie because of that. And if so, we're just going straight through the game without her. Sorry to all the Yuffie fans out there. Alright, let's just get out of here. This is... this is... It's hard to get turned, in, turned into frogs here. Just Bolton. We're getting out of here. Need any of your crap? We're gonna be like level 40, and then we'll just like <laughs> liquefy every boss from now on. Well, not to use the save point near. I, yes, because that just... It's its like a joke. Like, you use it and then she uh, she goes, Ha ha, that was fake. And then she takes your money. But I don't think it means you can't get her permanently. That just feels, it feels a little too harsh for a main character in FF7, you know? Like, if it was like a secret weapon or something, yeah, I could totally see. Like, you mess up and you don't get the secret weapon. Like, I could see that. But not for a character. I think. Where is she?
apparently we're talking about in the chat going to dentists and then and then biting the dentist I don't know what's going on you guys have lost me not dealing with the frogs. Six and you you bite a tennis. <laughs> how we do it. <gasps> All right, we're back. So, No name is better earned. Than this name. No name is better earned than this name for this character. Welcome, Trix. Welcome to the team. This and a little of that. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Here, I'll give you back all the money I stole. Or what's left of it. <laughs> nice. New character. It's 
pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's play with tricks for a while. Let's use tricks on the main team. I think we have a better weapon already. Yeah, look at that. We already do. Look at that. We can do that. I'm down with that. Anything better? We can give you that. Oh, wait. Oh, I want that on. I think I might want that on Cloud. Oh, we don't have much. Throw. Okay. First of all, I think we should save. 100% chance. I think this is the next area. I forget, what's Yuffie's limit break? Does anyone know? change Barrett's limit break. We gotta do that. In fact, we'll do that right after this. We'll change his limit break. Well, that didn't hurt him. Maybe some uh, bolt will get him. Hmm. So that doesn't hurt him. Interesting. That doesn't hurt him. Huh. Magic only? Is it magic? I think fire would be enough. Let's see. What about throw? Oh, we can actually throw items. I see. Let's do another bolt. That ought to take care of him. In the next area, Cosmo Canyon. Frosted Flakes, I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on, say hi to, say hello to Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen? Bugenhagen? Nanaki? Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? I don't know. It's our first time here. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Cool. Put Barrett's on board. Sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. What? They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Please come in. We're coming in. Who's Nanaki? That's his name. I always loved the music in this area. I thought it was so awesome. Come to seek the study of planet life? Yes. Awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I have a chance. Nice. Bugenhagen, favorite acting teacher. <laughs> yes, and the first thing you must do in the school of Bugenhagen is beat Super Mario 64. Then Final Fantasy 7. Then you must beat The Witcher 3. And then finally Breath of the Wild. And only when you beat Breath of the Wild do you complete Bugenhagen's acting course. Fire is called Cosmo Candle and is burned for generations. Holy flame that protects this canyon. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's Red 13. 
here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe are protectors of those who appreciate this planet, uh, oh, this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I'm the last of my race. Oh my god. Cowardly father. Yes, my father was a wastrel. So the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. No! Red 13, we want you to come with us to fight Zephyroth! Coming, Grandpa! He's, he's out of here. He's home. Rest, rest, rest. I want to rest. Okay, that's that. Listen, Trix knows what she wants. Tasty cocktails. Pub Starlet. Fluffy beds. Coming today. Oh, I see. Nice how they show you there. <laughs> Ooh, new weapon shop. We got some new weapons. We got some new weapons. We gotta buy them all. We gotta buy them all, guys. This is why we're here. We wanna be leet. Everyone. We just literally got everyone one. Uh, I think we need two of these. Nice. Some nice upgrades. Let's get Cloud his brand new uh, butterfly edge. Ooh. <laughs> we'll put a silver amulet on. So we lose our double materia growth, but that's okay. We get a new materia slot. Oh, life is good. Life is good. Uh, what's up here? I would like to see if anyone has some new material. Ooh, Chris, what's up? Let's go back to that other spot real quick. It was that one that it pointed out to me. Let's go there. got in here. Welcome. How about our original cocktail, Cosmo Canyon? A drink now and then is good for you. It'll help you relax a bit if you know when to stop. Wow. What's over here? You got any materia? Yeah, I'll stay. I would like some materia. That would be a really nice nice thing to get. The gang is saying hi. Everyone's saying Jeff, what's up? <laughs> you got any materia? Damn, nothing. We'll take some tents. Oops. 
This was the guy who studied planetary life here. He couldn't tank things the way they were, so he went to Midgar to form Avalanche. Want to hear more? Go on. I guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here, and finally I made it. A lot's happened. And then? And then? Well, it's gonna happen. Now that there's no Avalanche. Maiden's Kiss is a weird way for a poison. Yeah, I guess... Well, I guess Maiden's Kiss cures... <clears throat> excuse me. Cures that poison. If you're considering turning into a frog. Kind of like a poison. Which I guess, you know, they run up to you, they attack you, then you turn into a frog. So I, I can see how you're... How the logic is there, at least. Let's see what's going on in here. I'd really love some materia. Hagen sealed this door shut. How do you do that with super glue? Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, there's Yuffie. This place looks like a real drag and their materia sucks too. <laughs> well, I guess we found the materia vendor. Hey, wake up. Yes, I'm here to shop. Come on, I want some material. What do you got? MP plus. Ooh, we got some tasty things, but I spent all my money on weapons, guys. Ah. I just wanted to be so lead. You guys know what leet means, right? I heard that this is a this is a gamer speak word that has phased out. You know, 1337? Leet? Like, awesome? Well, if you didn't know, now you know. I guess we could sell some things just to get that HP+. plus. That would be really nice. So we could sell... Uh... Mm -hmm. We don't need... Do we need that Mithril Saber? I only get 500 bucks for it? That's nothing. That's nothing. I guess we'll wait a little bit, a little bit longer. I do like the HP plus. I would like to get one of those. I just need some money. Walton files. No, I don't know what that is. What is that? I've never even heard of it. Oh, I guess we're stuck there. Okay. Let's go this way. He's incredible. He knows everything. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki's still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 would be the equivalent of 15 or 16 years old? Man. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you in the village. Ho 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 ho! No, Nanaki. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would to would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up to the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Oh, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. You just jumped on the table. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies, maybe tomorrow or 100 years from now, but it's not long off. Oh man, are we talking about Are we talking about Earth here? Jeez. How do you know this? 
I hear the cries of the planet. What's that? See, look at this sack right here. See how the observatory kind of has all these pipes, wires, and whistles and stuff? That's where I always got the steampunk vibe for this game. While this planet goes on, the sounds, uh, the sounds of the stars and the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, that was a scream from the planet. Oh. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They've come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Oh, was that... Who was saying that? Was that the planet? Then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show them. Several odd-looking people are here. Yeah, Zach, you're on board. Whole place has suddenly gotten busy all of a sudden. You brought friends too, I'll go get them. Cheerio, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. Okay. Wait a second, call one of them. Hold on a second. Don't worry, my machine won't run away. Go and invite your friends. Okay. Well, we gotta take Tifa, right? Because she is the love of our lives. So there's Kate Sith hanging out. We're not taking Kate Sith. Sorry. Sorry to all the Kate Sith fans. We're not going to take Yuffie, because, well, frankly, we just met her. So what? why would we show her these intimate details of the planet? We've been on her for, like, 45 seconds. Where is Tifa? Where is she hanging out? So here's Barrett. You can take Barrett. Oh, wait, you choose it all here. Oh. There we go. That's the gang. That's the gang. Oh, yeah. Nice. No new material yet. Equip. Whew, yes. Getting strong. Lots of room for material. We just need some money to buy some. Got our, we got the gang. The door's unlocked. Come in. Ho, ho, ho! Looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there. just like the real thing it's pretty good this is my laboratory how can he fly is anyone gonna question that all the workings of space are entered into this 3d holographic system look look a shooting star it's like the holodeck in star trek Ooh. Base. The final frontier. Whoa. This 
This is amazing. Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. But what about their consciousness, their hearts, their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. Not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, become a swell called the life stream. Oh, we're learning some lore now. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. No, this isn't dark. I wouldn't call it dark. This is like, they're just saying that every time a living thing passes on, its soul sticks around with the planet and joins this this stream of energy. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life. Children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed. But you'll understand better if you watch this. Ooh, we got a little movie? So to get new life, the old life must pass on. Spirit energy is the source of life for trees, birds, and humans. Not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spirit energy were to disappear, Oh, so that's a bad thing. Chris, if you got a fun fact, you, you put that in the chat ASAP. These are the basics of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Ho, 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 spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. Uh, you're talking about the Mako energy, right? Everyday Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. So is our materia made of the souls of dead people? That might be true. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Wow, we learned some good backstory there. I got some lore. FF7 lore tonight. Story of the planets and those who live with them. If you want to know more, you must listen to the words of the elders. Father, a coward? So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking of that all this time. Oh. <laughs> Sus! Gandalf, headmaster of Hogwarts. Let's 
see what's over here. Hmm. Well, first of all, we should save. We should always save. Also, what time are we at? How are we doing? We got a little bit more in us? Just a little bit more and then we'll call it? I think we got a little, just a, we got a little bit more. We'll play a little bit more. Then we'll, then we'll, then we'll get out of here. We made big moves tonight. We got Yuffie. We learned the backstory of Barrett. We uh, seem to have stumbled into the opening of Final Fantasy X. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. Promise my guys someday when we save the planet from Shinra. We'd all be able to go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Ah. Oh. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all we all hate Shinra. But is it right to go on? Will they will they ever forgive me? Right now I don't really know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. Avalanche born again. What a boring place, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. I like Yuffie. She just wants materia. Cheerio. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? Make you remember all sorts of things. No Cheerio, five years ago. It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? Feels like feels like you're going far away. You really, really are you, right? What was that about? Frosted Flakes has a lot to say. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things. About the Cetra and Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... We're here for you, right? Ooh, that was a little... <laughs> Cheerio almost laid his heart out. <laughs> but I'm... Uh, we're here for you. I know, I know, but I'm only, I am the only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? Let's see what Kate Sith has to say. Wonder how many years it's been. Gorge! Brings back memories. That was the whole gang. Is that it? Is that everyone? Jeez, this is a very, very solemn part of the game now. I'm with Yuffie. We should just go get Materia. What is SEC? That I don't know. That I do not know. SEC. Hint, it has to do with full name. Are those initials? Leaving already, but it appears your friends still want to learn want to learn more about the planet. Yeah, just talk to them. What's going on? I was born again. I talk to everyone. Come on, guys. Weez has nothing to say. Long ago, when I was very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy, and that's fine, but when I think of my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father? As he floats in. Of course, he left mother for dead. 
When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving Mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki, there's something you should see. What? The place may be dangerous. Will you and one other person come with us? Sure. Well, we got Frosted Flakes. Who else do we want to take? I mean... Should we take Barrett, actually? Let's take Tifa. There he is. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. Are we all set? Yeah, I think we're set. Oh, shall we go? Yes, we shall. Oh, we can give uh, Frosted Flakes his new weapon. All right, come on in, come on in. You lead the way, Grandpa. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. This is like the scene in Empire Strikes Back. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to equip. Equip. Do we have any material for Frosted Flakes? Shoot, we don't. No, nope, we'll be all right. A ghost was here. See some material up there. Strange looking rock. Let's break it open. Oh! Ooh. Got him. Anything in here? Break it open. Is it always an enemy if you break it open? Keep doing bolt on everyone. Death always scares me when someone casts that. If you guys don't know what that is, you have that time, that ticking time over your character, and once that runs out, insta death. Ooh, we are strong. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo.
Oh, there we go. That worked. Vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the live stream. We still have far to go. I do want that materia, though. I really want that materia. Ooh, I want that materia. Whoa! Found it. I'll take that. Added effect. Oh my! Oh! Oh shoot! Only one health. Oh. How lucky was that that we got him? Jeez. All right. Phoenix down on cloud. Everyone's up. And then let's put... Let's put a... Um, mm, put a poison attack on Cloud. I think that could be fun. That's Shiva, okay. And that, that's just an all. Uh, okay. Oh, well, hold on. That's Earth, so we can put that there. That there. There we go. I like that. Mm, hold on. Let's, mm. Let's take Shiva off. We'll put Shiva on Red 13, because Red 13 doesn't have anything right now. There we go. Okay. Poison attack for clout. That should be kind of cool. What's over here? Really? Okay. How do we get over there? Oh, you can't run. Oh. The death head is actually the alien head from Alien. So, oh. Dude, life is strong. Snakes. Let's just burn them. Bolt them.
<laughs> Chris is ready for the final battle. Chris is sitting here, he's like, yo, I know we're on disc one, but like, I want to hear that song. <laughs> We're just burning some snakes real quick, you know? Taking ether. M tentacles. Black M phone? Is that for Kate Sith? Did you see that? Where is that? There it is. Yeah, that's a weapon for Kate Sith. I'm into that. Wish I didn't buy that one. Just like two seconds ago. Oh, we got five snakes. Good thing we got Shiva. That should be enough. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. Even though the Gi outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because the passage is too narrow. Let's move on. Oh, which one do we go through? Let's just do the first one. And that took us right over here how about this one that's a that's spider web is it a giant spider it is <laughs> oh I missed Oh, Cheerios getting smacked around. This ought to take care of things. Zach, you remember that move? Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Eric says, burn the stream down. You know, my computer was doing a good enough job of that earlier. All on its own. <coughs> Uh-oh, running, running out of mana here.
I'm guessing we get another big spider boy. Oh, we do. Twenty-five. What's he weak to? Oh, it doesn't tell you. <laughs> They're still singing the Sephiroth song in the chat. <laughs> Somehow Jeff burns the stream down. I don't know. I'm thinking uh, my computer was just... I just need a new computer. Got a little low there. Got a, little, got a little scary. A little hairy there. McNulty! I am. I was getting right to where I was just about to call it, but I, we're kind of in the middle of like, well, like a little dungeon, so I was going to beat the dungeon first. Oh, it's cool you came back, dude. Yeah, I, it, pff, long stream. You know, you know, just sometimes you need it, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Just sometimes. Sometimes you just need it. What's over here? Anything? Mike, we uh, unlocked Yuffie, which was super cool. What else did we do while you were gone? We learned Barrett's backstory. And now we are in Red 13's hometown, which she has not been to in quite a long time. But, but, he, but he's happy to be here. We're learning. We've learned about the live stream. And what it is, and also that if we, if it's continued to be sucked out of the planet, that the planet will literally fall apart. Like, not metaphorically, like, it will actually just fall apart. And I, this game was made in 1997, and the developers were already worried about global warming, it seems. And now we're in 2022, and the game rings more true than ever, which is kind of sad. Yeah. How was D&D? Did you play over Zoom? Shiva is strong. Holy moly. Let's do this real quick. Because we've got a big old spider to fight right here. Let's see if we can steal. Played over Discord. It was great. Awesome, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Attacking Red 13 there. Woo! Ooh, 
Lunatic High is what that one is called. <laughs> there we go. We'll get everyone up and running. Sneak around here. We'll get that. Turbo Ether. We'll take that. Someday we'll play again in person like we used to. Oh, I feel you, dude. That'll be the, that'll be the day. This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. Oh, ho, 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 we're almost there. What's this? What is this? Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghosts of the Gi. Like stagnant air. This can't be. Boss time? Here we go. Let's just smack him hard. What sense? Let's, just, let's see what that does. Do Shiva. You know the drill, guys. Okay, so fire is gonna heal, and we just casted a frit. We'll see what happens. Yeah, not the not the best first move <laughs> to do that. We'll see what happens though. It's probably gonna heal those little dudes. Okay, so it hurt the big boy, but it healed the little guys. Thirteen hundred weak against wind, weak against holy. Okay, we don't have any wind power. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's... Let's see if ice, ice does the trick. Good so far. Maybe we'll do a little, uh, little high potion here. Favorite summon. It's got, dude, dude. It's got to be Bahamut, right? It's got to be. It's just so awesome. <laughs> It's gotta be Bahamut. How are we doing, guys? We're doing okay. We'll just do a quick cure on everyone. We're doing okay. I'm not scared yet. Some good damage there. Got our big heal coming. <laughs> Special enforcement cat. <laughs> Let's do lunatic high. Oh, what's that gonna do? What's that do to us? Does it give us all fury? I'm scared. We already did it. It's too late. Let's see what happens. I'm scared, guys. Ow! That one really hurt. We're doing okay. Let's, let's just keep everyone... Oh, let's do a big cure. Let's do a big cure. Cure's coming. Yeah, we need to kill the little doodad in the front. Oh, we should steal, right? Can we 
kill this thing? Nothing to steal. Okay. That's fine. Let's kill these little, little thingies. They kind of act as a shield, I think. There we go. Got that one. All right, we'll take the double hit. Take the double hit. Got him though. We got him. And we got climb hazard. <laughs> oh, life is good. Thank you, Cheerio. Because of you, we survived. Nanaki, you've grown strong too. Oh, yeah? Now I know that wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come on, I have something I want to show you right over here. If it's another boss, I'm going to be furious. Gravity materia, we'll take that. We will take that. Come on, Tifa, move. Tifa, Tifa. Okay, there we go. This is... Pizza time! That's going to be, uh, I've already said that twice today. Let's do a different one. An orange. A warrior who fought against the Gi. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki, look at your father, at the warrior, Seto. That that Setso? Setso continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. Even after they all ran away, Setso continued to protect us. He continues to protect us even now. Even now. He thought that he was a coward and ran away. But he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That is Seto? Did Mother know? Ho oh, ho ho ho! She knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself, not tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. We're going right at three hours, but uh I'm gonna we're gonna save it and call it right after this, don't you worry. Cherry, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Once we get to a save point, we'll wrap it up. Nanaki, I want you to continue your journey with Cheerio and the others. Grandpa? Listen, Nanaki. Cheerio says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. 
For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Ooh, this is some heavy environmental stuff. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. It's part of the planet. Something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Yo, things just got deep. Am I wishing against fate? <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I'm too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be 130. What? That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them for my sake. Grandpa, you're doing great for 130, dude. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back while I was still allowed to show you. But Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Oh, 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 I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet, and I'll come back and tell you. Nanaki. I'm Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon. I'm the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name, so please, Grandpa. This is awesome. He is a bouncy old man for 130. <laughs> That's Seto's... Is that Materia? Oh. Oh, I see. Are you guys are gonna cry? This is deep. Shall we get going? So this is it for us to place. It's just the way it goes. It came in handy at times. We're keeping the A team. Alright. Guys, you know what time it is. stairs. There's our save point. And with that, I think we had a nice long stream Got to knock out a good amount of FF7 for you guys. Because it's going to be a busy week. A busy, busy, busy week. So I hope I get one more stream in this week. But if not, it will be this weekend. It is party time. Chris, I believe I owe you a YouTube video watch. So if you can tell me what to search, I will throw that up here and we can all watch this piano piece that you're really excited about together. And I think I can, I think we can do that real quick. I do not mind at all, my friend. So... Ba, 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 ba. Let's do browser capture. There, you should see that on the screen there. Great, great. Oh, good night, Zach. Good night, my friend. Thank you for sticking around for so long, brother. It means a lot. Let's see. No, that's not what we want. We don't want browser. Let's see. We want window capture. There we go. What does that do? That puts that on the screen. That is YouTube. There's YouTube. Great, we're getting there. We're getting there. Boom. All right. We're back here. Bartok Piano Concerto 2. Paste. Boom. 
Is this is this it here? Is that it? So I won't watch all 28 minutes of it. I'll tell you that up front because we're ending the stream. But I would love to check a little bit out. Let's watch a little bit here. Can we all hear it? Sorry, it's going to be blinking back and forth. This is it? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This sounds exactly like Final Fantasy. Ha! <laughs> Dude. I'm really impressed. I'm going to watch a bit of that later. But that's wonderful, dude. Oh my god. She's slaying. She's slaying. All right. Guys, only because it's so late. We're going to call it there tonight. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this super long stream. Hopefully you enjoyed learning Barrett's backstory, getting Yuffie, learning Red 13's backstory. We just beat Cosmo Canyon. What an amazing night in FF7. We got so much done. So, all right. Till next time, I will see you soon. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. It helps me out so much right down there. But if you don't want to, that's cool too. But, uh, yes. I will see you next time right here on Jeff Plays Final Fantasy VII.